And obviously, hello everyone from sunny old Israel. Um, this is in fact, um, it's going to be an update video. Why is that? Because uh, this is uh, another chapter of my uh, recent tour to Europe in last April. And I visited uh, the biggest museum in Alkamar, the biggest museum in the world for the Beatles. Uh, and if you remember, two years ago I made the same trip, the same tour to the museum, but this is, will be an update and there are lots of uh, new um, things and a um, lot of uh, going on uh, in this museum. And also, uh, I'm gonna do an update on my um, Japanese Beatles album. Why Japan? Because it's my fast growing country for Beatles albums. Um, five years ago, uh, I made a video of my uh, uh, albums from all around the world and Japan amongst it. But at that time, I only had seven albums. And nowadays I have 29 albums, 29, not less than 29 albums. And so I need to uh, make an update. <laughs> so, uh, the, um, the Beatles uh, uh, Museum in Alkmaar, uh, I will divide it into, into uh, two parts in this video. And um, the uh, I show the uh, Japanese albums uh, in the middle of uh, uh, the, these parts. Now uh, I'm gonna start uh, the, uh, this video with uh, showing you uh, scenes from Utrecht. You remember the, my last uh, video about this uh, tour uh, from uh, the Utrecht Hetzel Fair. So uh, Utrecht scenery of uh, the town, beautiful town uh, Utrecht in Holland. And uh, then uh, I'm going to show I'm going to show uh, the uh, British Museum. So let's start our journey. In uh, Utrecht, just before the uh, record fair, going uh, I'm doing my way for my uh, bed and breakfast guest house to the second day of the record fair in Utrecht. This is near the uh, train station. Very nice place, as you can see. The Utrecht Canal. Utrecht Canal. As you can see, at the far end, there's a windmill. If you see, you can, uh, it's not easy to see the upper side of the windmill. Well, here it is. The Alkma Beatles Museum. Het Beatles Museum. Alkma. Hello. How much is a ticket? Yeah. Five euros. Five euros, just a minute. Well, here it is again. How are you, everybody? Four viewers. The biggest uh, business museum other than Liverpool. Do it slowly because, you know, Maybe the uh, picture is a bit fuzzy. Here's a poster of the uh, butcher cover. Here are some butcher covers. Uh, at the top you see uh, the third state and second state. Um, there's a signature here. There's a Robert Freeman. Uh, I 
know if there's a first state. Maybe this, these are first state. No, it's not. The third state. Um, John Lennon, Golden Records. The red box, all the other boxes, new and old. Now there's uh, singles here from the DDR. DDR, they're all kind of British and American and Swedish. Okay, you know how others, Beatles singles from all around the world. Okay, um, you can see here, should be Israeli uh, singles here. But uh, seeing it right now, seeing them right now. Japanese one. Yes, I have man, many of them. I have. Um, yeah, all the uh, gramophone <laughs> and guitars. All this, of course, uh, pieces for sale. And all this night. Now, uh, if I go uh, from the start here, by records by the Beatles records for of course uh, first should be please please me here's a Taiwanese one and uh, here are uh, this from Argent no this from Mexico the very rare, rare please please me from Mexico <clears throat> this is of course the British one the UK South African German Canadian, Italian, and there are here very rare um, contracts. Okay, this is the French one with the Beatles, with the Beatles from all around the world, Beatlemania from Canada. Again, Mozart, Mexican. Uh, I think you have seen it before, maybe in uh, my previous uh, visit here two years ago. Um, let's continue our journey to a Russian single. Okay. There are Polish one which I have. Um, these are from Holland. Okay. Now, bid is for sale. Well, best uh, out this night. Doesn't matter. Here is a Brazilian. This is for sale. Chilean. It's for sale. Um, this is the red, the red album and the blue album. German book club records, which are very rare. They are much, uh, they, they, can't, they can't fit it a lot. You see here, the red one. This is the real deal. The German um, 10 inch, which I have. Um, another book club, another rare, rare book club, German one. And of course, Elp, all over, all around the world, Russian and French. And this is very nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Let's continue. Revolver. Well, Revolver is pretty. Well, it's a great uh, cover, but they haven't changed it uh, so much. The countries. Uh, from then on, we pretty much standardized covers. Anyway, it's again the uh, uh, yesterday and today. Is our this night um, American one the Christmas album and Sgt. Pepper. So, Sgt. Pepper. Books that uh, the owner of this is uh, amazing wrote through the years. All kinds of uh, busts, uh, dolls, and memorabilia. Octagon uh, singles. Um, continue the journey. Is Sergeant Pepper. This is a Taiwanese one. And uh, I know this one is from. I don't know. Netherlands. Russian. The Singaporean. The one in which I have which is a mix between Sergeant Pepper and the Magical Mystery Tour. Uh, white album, white album, all kinds of things like CDs and box set, and of course the uh, new one, which added to the collection, and of course the white album from all around the world. Should be an Israeli one, uh, I think. No, it's not this one. This is a South African one. Anyway, this is the uh, white vinyl from the States, from UK, from Germany. Uh, okay. Another box set, Pop Go The Beatles. The complete, of course, there are all uh, uh, counterfeits, but very nice counterfeits is the complete the BBC session, which I have also on CDs, but it's in the... Uh, size of a uh, um, 12 inch vinyl. Um, okay, the anthology. All kinds of magazines. Basically I see from uh, Germany, from Holland. What nice poster here, Tin Beat. We'll continue to um, this is a compact disc by HMV. I remember the time when HMV made uh, very special editions for their uh, CDs back in the time of the heyday of the CDs. I think uh, late 80s, early 90s, I think so. Um, all kinds of shaped discs. And again, the white album and what is the Israeli one? Oh, find it here. Strange. Remember? Looking at it two years ago. Abbey Road, of course. The last album. Well, as, as the last album they recorded. Uh, not. Uh, Many variations here. Yes, this is the Israeli one, of course. <laughs> With all the mistakes. Maybe there's old darling here. No, but it's the other way, the, the other side. Don't think Azing uh, know about it. Um, <clears throat> all kinds of uh, picture discs, which are all counterfeit, of course. Um, we continue. This is the place they, they are selling thing. We'll look at it later. Anyway, 
compilation albums. Many again counterfeits. BBC. A lot of counterfeits here. Very nice. I have all the. Um, I don't collect uh, bootlegs, but counterfeits. But this is a bootlegs, uh, not counterfeits. Uh, <coughs> usually I don't collect bootlegs, but uh, this series I have because it's brilliant. Abbey Road. Uh, I'm going to visit the, this tour. Again, Sergeant Pepper, colored vinyls, all kinds. Nueva Zelanda, from New Zealand. Like that. Nueva Zelanda. Um, well, this is a very special. Uh, Exhibits here because ah no this is a replica replica these are all replicas but I know I know I know for sure that he has an original one replica what well, they are all replicas I remember he has an original one anyway let it be let it be again. Not many variations here. Silver plant uh, disc for uh, <coughs> Let It Be. Abbey Road and W8. All kinds of uh, memorabilia from Abbey Road. Huh, this is funny. Okay. Go to the other side. It's the history, of course, of the band here. Now, the other side, I think dedicated mainly to uh, the solos, or the individuals of uh, the Beatles. Not all of this side, but mainly here's John Lennon. With two virgins. <laughs> yeah. Four parts that are... Uh, they are concealed, yeah. Uh, the books by uh, John Lennon. Okay. Um, newspapers from the time of uh, John Lennon uh, assassination. Ringo Records. Magical Mystery Tour. Yeah. All kinds of Magical Mystery Tour things here. Others night. This is uh, for the movies. Okay, the movies cut. The movie movies cardboard. Cardboard. Okay, George Harrison clothes. George Harrison clothes. Um. And they would care. Traveling Wilburys oh, for George Ison. Continue our journey into wow, 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 wow. All kinds of games by the Beatles and all kinds of dolls and uh, cups and again many, many memorabilia. Uh, Yellow Submarine. This is the main attraction here. He has uh, on the first uh, the first uh, VHS uh, complete Beatles, as you remember it. I remember it. The anthology on VHS. Okay. Continuation of the other games. Cardboard games. Nice. Here's the French, the rare French Osses cover, which I have. The biggest book, original one. And this is a Singaporean album, Love, in Las Vegas, as you know. 
Cique de Soleil. Um, uh, the history of the band. These are, uh, again, games, Monopoly. Um, photos with signatures. I don't know if they are originals or not. And there are several dolls of uh, girls, groupies with uh, miniskirts by the Beatles. Right. Um, magazine Life, famous Life magazine. Portrait of the Beatles, buttons, another poster. Glasses, yeah, glasses. Ezing Malt Makers, the Philips Museum in Alkma Part 1. And now for the Japanese update, Japanese album Beatles update. Um, I show um, all the uh, 29 uh, albums that I have. Um, I won't show uh, the inner uh, um, gatefold or uh, only a few that are much more interesting than others uh, so we start with the uh, the first one and this one I had in my uh, previous video five years ago this is the uh, first uh, original uh, Japanese album for the Beatles back in 1964 I think meet the Beatles on Odeon uh, the first press first edition and um, I'll show the uh, vinyls, of course, because uh, many of them are on the red vinyl on the original Odeon. As you know, the uh, Japanese uh, pressing are considered to be great uh, pressings. So, um, if you want to listen to a great sound of the Beatles, you should search for... Uh, this uh, these albums um, uh, now uh, a new one to my uh, uh, to my collection is uh, the second album the second album in immaculate condition on the uh, OR uh, serial number and the uh, final with its original inner inner sleeve again a very nice uh, inner sleeve from Japan and uh, it's open like this and uh, the red again the red vinyl on Odeon nice um, this is the original uh, pressing in Japan and I also have uh, a 60s reissue uh, of this of the same album on Apple late uh, 60s on the AR serial number you see uh, again great condition great condition and the um, this time it's on Apple on the black vinyl you know the, um, the Apple also had the, the first uh, the, their first pressing uh, a red vinyl um, but this is um, the uh, uh, second Apple edition, the original Hardest Night uh, album on the OP perfects on stereo. This is, of course, uh, again uh, um, a unique cover for uh, Japan for this Night and the red first pressing vinyl on audio. Um, also, um, you've seen, if you saw the, uh, the video from, uh, uh, 20, 2014, uh, you've seen this box, uh, the video story, there are three records inside with a booklet, just great. Next is, uh, the first one that uh, has an OB in my collection 
an Apple OB, which is uh, considered to be quite rare because it's the first edition uh, Apple uh, on the AP. And uh, it's of course uh, something new. It's uh, again an American uh, depiction uh, uh, cover and record, same songs. Give me a Dina Hunt. And uh, the vinyl itself, oh, it's not uh, the first because it's not uh, red, it's on the black vinyl. But um, the, uh, the Obi, I think, uh, considered to be the first. And uh, you know, the Obi is uh, very rare to find. Uh, without an OB, and uh, I've, sh I've uh, shown it uh, back in the um, previous video for Japanese albums, Beatles for Sale, Apple Stereo, in great condition, very nice, it's of course gateful, and the, um, this one is the original Apple on the red label, Stop, sorry, on the red vinyl, with the green Apple label. Beatles for sale. Next is the beautiful Beatles number no. five, which is uh, in the United States is um, Beatles sixty five. Again, get for them this time on Odeon. The original uh, press without the OB on the um, red vinyl. Um, it's not. Um, it's not the American sixty five because. It's, different songs here. Let's see. There's a Liebdich on it. Also called Give the Dine a Hunt. Um, another, the same uh, Beatles number five, this time on Apple. And the vinyl is Second press Apple on the black vinyl. <clears throat> Next one, uh, I think I've shown it uh, back in uh, 2014. It's uh, Help. And uh, you've seen the gatefold inside. It's like the British, edition of the British uh, um, cover, font cover, but the back is definitely. Uh, similar to the American, not the same, but still similar. Help the Beatles on the original Odeon with the uh, red vinyl stereo label. The American imitation is on this one, on the AP. This one is Apple with OB, the Apple OB, rare to find, um, vinyl and OB, and see an original, no, it's not original, second press, second press, Apple on the black vinyl. Another pressing for the same uh, album, this time on the EAS Apple uh, label. And the vinyl and the, uh, the label. Much, as I said, much lighter green on it than the first pressing or the second pressing of the uh, Apple label. Um, another album that uh, you've seen uh, on the um, on the previous uh, video, it's the um, Rubber Soul with very very rare um, Apple OB. You see AP. This is on the green OB, which makes it uh, quite rare, and it's on the it's an original press Apple. On the red vinyl. And it's going on, on and on. The Japanese albums. Uh, now, 
Next is a very, very beautiful uh, um, album. And I, this time I'll show uh, the gate for them what is, is, is in, inside. It's uh, basically Pris Prismi Japanese style version, pressing with an OB on the Apple label. And you can see the um, booklet inside attached to the, uh, to the cover with beautiful, beautiful um, pictures and photos of the Beatles. This business, of course, this uh, album was made, expressed in 1965, late 65. And the uh, vinyl is an Apple one on the uh, black. Apple one on the black vinyl. Uh, Next one is another beautiful from the same series on Apple in different uh, OB. What a beautiful OB you see, you see here. Apple. And it's with the Beatles. With the Beatles. Gatefold OB. And another booklet. Another beautiful, beautiful booklet. With the Beatles uh, was originally uh, recorded in 1964. This uh, album was pressed in uh, Japan in 1965. Original press because it's an Apple, so this one is from 68, at least 68, if not 69. Um, and the uh, vinyl is the first pressing. Apple red vinyl. First pressing for this album, uh, a collection of Beatles oldies. This is the first pressing on the uh, Odeon label, uh, pressed uh, for the first time in uh, Japan in 1967. Oldies but goldies, or a collection of Beatles oldies with the rare, the very, very sought after Obi. And the beautiful original inner uh, from Japan and the red and the red uh, vinyl clear red vinyl transparent red vinyl um, a repress a reissue on the uh, numbers or the flag series and the uh, known Apple label this is a known uh, series from Japan. It's, um, all of the Japanese uh, records are not uh, very uh, easy to get, but if you search or you look for, uh, let's say, common uh, uh, records, common albums, this is the one. Now, another sought after album from Japan is The Imitation of Yesterday and Today. No, not, not a butcher uh, cover, there was no Japanese butcher cover, there's only an American butcher cover and uh, it is known that there's a uh, one-off Canadian uh, butcher cover, but not from Japan still a very, very beautiful, the Beatles yesterday and today with the Apple OB and second press black vinyl. Apple label. Sgt. Pepper, first press, first press, Sgt. Pepper from Japan, 1967 on Orion. What a great find, what a very rare item in an original, original inner sleeve and the red, the red final audio label from 1967 in a great great condition next one should be and it is magical mystery tour with a complete uh, book you know the same book with an ob red wax it says here and red wax it's indeed this time on the apple label apple label this is the original Japanese um, repress, reissue on the 
number flex series 24 this time apple eas prefix now i think this one uh, probably is the rarest most uh, sought after and uh, most expensive album uh, the ordinary album we might say in Japan from Japan and uh, this is of course the white album and this is the original white album from 1968 on the Apple uh, label with an OB and this one is a complete and you can see the Japanese description here and the number which is pretty low and the embossed beetles here this time I'll open it in order for you to see everything inside uh, it's a bit delicate of course first of all I'll show you the albums on the red apple this is the original through first press original uh, white album in Japan as I said a bit delicate okay this is side one and two what I've shown you before was side three and four and of course what do you have inside you know what to expect or not First of all, the uh, poster, I won't uh, open it, uh, just uh, I'll show you the Japanese inscription here, which makes it, uh, of course, true uh, Japanese album, true Japanese poster, authenticated, and the four photos. Now, the four photos is different from all the other photos around the world. You can see the white borders from, for on, on both sides of, uh, of all the pictures, all the photos, and uh, it's um, um, glossy photos, very big square um, photos. But there's another thing in uh, the Japanese uh, white album that is a very very unique and rarer than rare to obtain uh, I think I, I've uh, only seen it once here on my copy this is this uh, page which has the uh, songs in uh, Japanese and the songs in uh, English and this paper is you can't find it it's rarer than rare so the white album is probably my rarest unique sought after uh, albums from Japan try not to do any arm do anything here okay next Yellow Submarine with an original OB on Apple you see lots of styles for the OB and the uh, original Apple this time it's an original Apple first press uh, the uh, red vinyl Apple label um, Next is, of course, what we are uh, looking for uh, on September, the 50th anniversary for Abbey Road. This is the Japanese press with the original Obi, first press for Abbey Road from Japan, with the uh, insert, as I said before, on every album there's an insert like this, and the red apple original red apple for Abbey Road 1969 also I have the uh, original a Jude pressing from Japan 
there is the Japanese lettering. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. 2,000 yen. Uh, here. And the, uh, again, the red apple vinyl. Not the last, but almost the last, is the original pressing of Let It Be in Japan with two obis. Two obis were made for the original Let It Be with a red apple at the back, so it depicted the uh, American uh, version. It's the same gatefold. And again, the red um, Let It Be vinyl for this album. My last uh, uh, album, again, a great one. Uh, a complete 1967-1970 double album, which was uh, pressed in Japan in 1973 on the EAP prefix, with an OB in immaculate condition. Uh, what do we have here? What to expect? Uh, to expect the same gatefold, but there are lots of things in it. First of all, the inner sleeve, this time on the black, the original was made black vinyl. I don't think uh, there's a red uh, first press. The first press is the black uh, Abbey Road, uh, black press, first uh, uh, apple. Now, the, the Japanese added to uh, the, this album not a, a single insert or paper, but a booklet, a complete booklet with the, the lyrics and the songs and all kinds of uh, chart posi position of the songs. You can see the Beatles discography, 1967-1970, complete discography. And also, they've added a poster. Beautiful, beautiful poster. I think it's from the Midday Out uh, session. Yep. Beautiful poster from the Midday Out. I think it's the end. No, no, it's not. Again, second vinyl, side three and side four, with the original inner, with the lyrics, and also you have here rock discography, basically an advertisement sheet, and also you have a booklet, a booklet with again the lyrics and photos, pictures, lyrics in Japanese. On the um, inner sleeve, you have the uh, lyrics in English. This time it's Japanese and uh, all kinds of uh, photos in black and white and other things. To look for also the uh, lyrics in Japanese in the English so there are many 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 things here unbelievable unbelievable it's written in Japanese it has the um, uh, the ears here I, I don't I don't know what it means After that, you have the lyrics in Japanese and in English, but I don't know what it means. 1970, 1971, 72, until 73, when the, uh, this uh, album was uh, manufactured and released. Well, that's it for my Japanese update albums. And now, for the second and last part of my journey to the Beatles Museum in Alkmaar, Holland. Until next time, bye-bye.
And uh, <laughs> in the British Museum in Alkmaar, Ezig Moltmaker wrote this book. I'm in the museum here. And there's a book. Paul is dead or is Ringo dead? Do you want to know that secret? What is it all about? What is that all about? Strange, strange indeed. Books over books over books about the Beatles in the Beatles Museum in Alkma, Holland. This is the famous series that I have. The 45s, Hazing and Samuel wrote it. Many, many. How old are you? They are all for selling, for buying. Books and books all about the Beatles. Just the Beatles. And the solos. Magazine over there. DVDs all around. Now we'll uh, continue to look for Beatles records in the Beatles Museum in Alkmaar, Holland. Okay? There are many Beatles records here. These are counterfeits and bootlegs, bootlegs mainly. Bootlegs, bootlegs. Kinds of bootlegs. So oh, this is official, new one. 25 should be a counterfeit. Yeah. This one is a Dutch 30 euros for Billis in Italy. Dutch made. Another Holland American. This is a Japanese one. Only Japan. 45 euros on Apple. Well, I don't think it's a great deal. German one. American, German, German, German. That's a, a Mexican reissue. 25 euros. Another one. A stereo. Mm, British. Another reissue, 25 euros, German, German help, British, rubber sole from all over the world, Sweden, 20 euros, I think it's a reissue, uh, another Mexican reissue, okay, Mexico. Robert's uh, revolver. Collection of Beatles oldies. So many of them from all over the world. Another Mexican. American Sergeant. Japanese one. The uh, Flex series. You know, you know the uh, white albums. Let it be. American, British, German, Dutch, Italian, Mexican, Spanish, rarities from all over. The there. The red and the blue album. German book club. This is not a very rare German book club. This is the, um, the popular one. Um, compilations, Hollywood Bowl, the old one, German collection, greatest, Dutch. Um, next, the there, the reissue on Amiga. Sell it for 25. Um, another known book club, 
This is of course a counterfeit American. This is an American reissue. This tells all. Where it is American, a Jude, Ed Rudy. Ed Rudy? Yeah. 35. I have it well. Huh? This is another uh, reissue, but it's an old reissue. Next, another reissue of a Mexican only album. No original here, sorry to say. Not as, not as many in, as in uh, Utrecht. Okay. Boxes upon boxes. There's the Italian box. 95 euros. That you've seen in, the, I've seen in uh, Utrecht. What is that? 3D. <laughs> the real alternative album. This blue and red and all kinds of. Finds from all kinds. Ooh, wow, there's so many here. Boxes upon boxes, singles upon singles. Take our journey to the other side. We can journey to the other side. Uh, this is our all new one. A new one and the solo. Paul McCartney solo. Okay, the ordinary one is the later McCartney albums. Uh, the tour, the famous tour package. I would like to sing. Here is uh, all things must pass. Georgie Porgy. And uh, Georgie Porgy. Ah, uh, Ringo. Ringo. Ringo Star. Okay. What's the. What's the. It's a live broadcast, Mr. Eising. This is the owner of uh, the museum. Good, mo good morning, there. It's morning in, in Israel. Uh, yes, it's uh, one hour uh, late. Yes, it's still now, morning. Yeah, Good still morning, morning, everybody, and you all have to come to Holland and see the museum. You the should. The largest you should. museum in the world. You should. Welcome. Uh, it's a great museum. <laughs> Amazing collection. Yeah, and it's only 50%. People are commenting, say wow here on the, yeah. uh, on the this live This is book. what you see in the museum. is only 50% of my collection. The 50%. 50%. Is 50%. Yeah. So there's another uh, <laughs> whole room like this with yeah, full of three, packed three, with three, uh, three rooms at home. Three rooms three at home. Right. One room wow. for my records. I have one side of uh, two and a half thousand albums, other three wow. and a half thousand CDs. Wow. One room with over one thousand books, and one room with. Uh, and you also three. write write books. Yes, uh, Ma I many books now, you I wrote. I work now on book seventy five. Seventy five with the Samuel. Yes, it's, it's a Japanese one. Part the Japanese. Three. Beside it, I'm working on a book on the Beatles in the Philippines. Right. And I go in June to the Philippines to meet the chairwoman. I have the Philippines is with the Tenin? Oh, sorry. Okay, this is uh, this was uh, okay, I think mold maker, yes. Sorry, sometimes uh -huh. sometimes people call by the door. Yeah. Uh, I work now on a book on the Beatles in the Philippines and with the, the, the ten inch with the uh, the from Philippines, the, the, right? The, 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 the seventy eight. Seventy eight. Seventy eight. Yeah. Yes. And, and with the orange uh, orange label. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, they recorded. They released more than fifty singles there. Fifty singles. Yeah, and a lot of albums. We have quite some uh, uh, Filipino albums in the collection. Yeah. Uh, but I will meet the chairwoman who was by the Beatles in sixty six. In the Philippines. Uh, yes, yeah, she met the Beatles wow. there, and she had unpublished pictures what we may use in the new book. Mm -hmm. And the book will also be translated into Tagalog, the language of the Philippines. Oh yeah, and the special uh, it will language. It's a Filipino yeah. release. Mm -hmm. So that's a new, new that's project. Great. That's great. Yeah. What else can you te tell you about the museum, about your collection? That they have to come here and see it themselves. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I can show them, of course, one of my, my prides, the original machine from the. Ah, this is a record. Uh, this is one of the. This is one of the original machines from mm -hmm. Abbey Road Studios in London. 
It's real? From, yeah, from it's Abbey real. Road? It's real from Abbey Road, yes. In 81, they did sell... Yakov, Yakov, uh, you, 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 you don't need to go to the uh, Abbey Road now too. They are uh, arranging an Abbey Road tour for uh, 50 years for Abbey Road, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't need it. It's, it's all here in Alkmaar in Holland. <laughs> yeah. This machine is used for the recording of the albums Beatles for Sale and Hades Night. That's wow. why you see them here. Yeah, sure. It's a, it's a twin track This is machine. the real deal. And here you see the inside of them. Maybe you, they can see it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And of course, to please my audience, sort of the inside of the mm -hmm. machine. Amazing. Yes, I know I'm aging. <laughs> yes, <laughs> amazing aging. <laughs> this one was a donation from one of the visitors in the museum. Mm. It's a, a donation. A, in 1981, the Abbey Road Studios did sell a lot of their <coughs> equipment. Yeah. Most of the equipment was bought by Paul McCartney for his replica studio. Right. Uh, Lenny Kravitz bought a few recorders, mm -hmm. and one recorder was missing. And that's this one. It was bought this by one. Dutch. Uh, shop owner who has a big electronic shops and the car was extremely rich he could afford right, it right and when he had retired this one went to the storage room mm -hmm. stayed in the storage room for a while because we could see it because it looked terrible when we got it and then you clean, you clean it yeah yeah we cleaned yeah. it and then we got this machine and i traded for uh, two cup of coffee and two cookies <laughs> and i need to they, do this they, one they also <laughs> The value of the machine is uh, it's priceless. Cal it's calculated on two million. Two million. Yeah. So I'm lo we are looking at two we million very, machine. We are very expensive. I, I don't need to touch it because <laughs> <maybe> <laughs> two million. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of my prides in the museum. Yeah, right. Together with all the gold and records, uh -huh. that's all. Right. Great. So uh, see you everybody next.